The craft sector is one of the areas of economic activity that has been hit by the downturn in the economy caused by COVID-19. Alicia Peter Prescott, a native of Savan George Schwozel, has been an artisan since childhood. She says this would have been the period of high demand for craft, but unsurprisingly, COVID-19 has negatively affected her livelihood. COVID has really affected me because I had lots of orders to be ready by now. And um, because of COVID, most of my orders have been cancelled. But I'm not letting COVID let me down. Um, normally around this time, we get ready for our biggest cultural activity, Gene Creole, in October. And um, I normally get calls from parents and students getting ready for the, for, for the different activities at the school for Creole. And um, with COVID, all of, acti all, of act all of the activities that have been cancelled, I don't see much happening for the Creole Festival this year. So cre um, COVID has really affected me and put me on the backlash. Peter Prescott believes the craft industry is slowly dwindling. She thinks measures should be taken to ensure the industry isn't extinguished. The craft, I notice it's dying out. Not much of it is being seen along the place. So I feel that um, something needs to be done. For instance, in Shrezel, we have the Handicraft Center. I feel that um, craft should be taught at the center. It's summertime, our kids are on vacation. So some, some activities should be, can be organized so the craft can be taught at the craft center. I do not, I'm not able to do all of the craft. There are some baskets I would love to be able to do. For instance, this basket in my hand, it's not my making, but I love it and I'm getting orders for it. So if it is being taught, I will be happy and I guess other persons will be happy to send their kids and even adults too will send will be present and learn to do something and carry on with the craft and to keep the craft alive. The artisan made a plea to Bradley Felix, the parliamentary representative for her constituency, to help stabilize the arts and craft sector. She holds aspirations of local craft becoming more available around the island. I would love to see um, our craft being sold all over the island and um, more of made in St. Lucia rather than made in, made in China. Let's see made in St. Lucia with our craft and other produce from St. Lucia. Your future plans? My future plans for craft, I will continue doing the craft. As long as I'm healthy and the hands are able to, I will do the craft. And as long as the couscous, raw materials, voitive, we call it in Patua, as long as it's available, I will continue doing the craft. Juni Quayol is celebrated in St. Lucia on the last weekend of the month of October. This year, the celebrations will be scaled down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Colby DeVoe, HTS News Force.